Okay, so what I'm going to be doing here is making drawings in Autodesk Inventor of my airfoil wing. I'm going to start by saving my part if I haven't already saved it, and I'm going to make a new drawing file. So I'll go File, New, and then select Drawing. The sheet size is way too big for our printers, so we need to resize the sheet by right-clicking on Sheet 1 and selecting Edit Sheet. You're going to change the size from D to A, and that will be 8.5 by 11. You're going to delete the ANSI large table because that takes up a lot of room. And so there you have your blank uh, sheet. You're going to place in your base view of your airfoil. I recommend you make your airfoil point the other direction. So I'm just going to flip it around here using the view cube. Scale of one half is a pretty good scale for this. So you can make everything fit on the page. So we're going to use this as our front view. I chose it because it has the most detail. Next up is going to be to put in and project the other views. And so I'm just selecting the project the button and clicking on the top right and uh, the top right for the isometric right click and create. I don't like all these hidden lines. It just seems like a bit too much. So on the front view, you double click on that and uh, select this uh, middle button here and that will take away the hidden views. Uh, next step for you is going to be to dimension things. And so you're going to go into annotate and you're going to select dimension, and you're going to do the overall dimensions of this airfoil. So we'll do the uh, front dimension, and we'll use the uh, units on that of a double apostrophe, or you can do inches. Uh, top and bottom of this view, for the height of our wing, or the thickness, I guess. Not quite the thickness, but yeah. Um, and units on that, and then we are also going to do uh, this dimension here. Uh, once that's done, uh, just add some text. So you're going to put in your name and period and date and uh, you will then print it. So control P to print or file print. Now select the black and white printer. So that's the Rico printer. Make two copies, one for you and your partner. Next step. Um, we need some templates that we can use to make our foam airfoils uh, from this. And so we are going to make a uh, new drawing. And again, we'll, we're going to edit the sheet size to A and get rid of this table. And when we place in the uh, base view, it's an airfoil again because our part is already open. So there it is. And we want to scale one to one because we want it to be the actual size that it's going to be in real life. Uh, I'm just going to copy this. I should be able to copy it. Oh, there it was. Sorry. And then Control V to paste or edit paste. And there it is. These will be cut out later, so it doesn't really matter how they're positioned. We're going to annotate it uh, so we know it's your airfoil shapes, and you're going to do your name. And that's probably sufficient for this one. And then uh, you're going to print one copy of this. And then you're just going to save these just in case you need them down the road. Uh, you and your partner are going to make a, basically two technical drawings, one of the heavy lifter and one of the glider. And then you're also going to uh, be making two drawings uh, where each of those drawings has two airfoil profiles, uh, one for your heavy lifter and one for your glider. Um, and I think that's it. I think you're good.